as we're speaking. Oh, adventures with his family he's seeking. Reporting weather, telling stories wherever he goes. It's the Ezra Speaking Show. Yay! Hello, Ezra Speaking here. My friend Randy Hollis is about to retire from Wish TV. And we we wanted to ask him some questions about his retirement. Recently, we had the privilege of hanging out with him. But we had a special surprise for him. He wanted to just talk with us, but we brought in the special surprise. Now, make sure to especially, especially share this video because this is really great about Randy's retirement. Yeah. So that was a good show. Oh, you like it? Yeah. What do you like fun. the best about my first Um, Food. F food? <laughs> you like food here? The food. How about thunderstorms? You like thunderstorms uh, too, don't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. The thunderstorms created a big tornado. But look at today. Today's a fantastic day, Ezra. You yeah. couldn't ask for a better day. The weather department I'm, came yes. through today, you know? So I'm thrilled mm -hmm. that we're, we're leaving the station. It's lunchtime. Uh-huh. So. so let's go ahead and get in the car. You're going to be driving. Oh. Mr. Walt, would you like to drive? Well, yeah, well, I don't think I should let you drive. We're not quite yet here, but uh, yeah, yes. I will drive and we'll go get some lunch. How's that sound? All righty. What, kind of, what kind of lunch are we going to get? Um, I don't know yet. Okay, all right. So I guess I'll get on this side and I'll get in the back. We'll in the back here. Okay. Wait, why don't we just take my car? Take your car? Yeah. yeah that sounds great to me. Take my car. Hello, Bitterman. Can you please come pick us up? Huh. <gasps> Well, we're gonna have a fun time riding in the car. That's for us, Ezra? Yes. Oh my goodness here. Where are we going? Hey, guys! Thanks for being in my car, but I'm try I'm try I'm trying to have lunch with Randy. Can you please come out and stop mooching all my juice boxes? <laughs> Line up. Line up, get in the car right, on now. Juicy juice is my favorite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> I know you had fun, but you hey, got to come out. Ezra, come on now, man. I'm oh. going to stay in the limo. I'm sorry. Yeah. What are you guys, do what oh, are you guys Randy, doing here? Enough for Randy? Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, is that it, Ezra? Yes. Uh, We're going to lunch. Oh, we are. Where are we yeah. going? Do I have to wait and see? Uh, yes. That's oh. what you, that's why you couldn't listen. Okay, so this is a surprise. Yes. Right. This is a fancy limo here, Ezra. Mm -hmm. This is very beautiful. So you've been in a limousine before? Mm -mm. First time. <laughs> first time. Is this your first time? I, I, boy, if I was in one, it had to be many, many, many years ago. Yeah. But I, I don't think I've ever been in one this big. This is very, very nice. Hey, there's oh, Wish. Wish TV. I know that place. Huh? You work there. 39 we, years. Almost, we were just so. there. We were just there. That's right. There's the city. All right. So where do you think we're going now? I don't know. We're in downtown Indy, I know that. I just want to push all the buttons at once, just go. Yeah, yeah. You may blow the car up if you do that, you know? You um. may short it out and we'll be stranded. Got music lights, too. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. There. Ta-da! We're here to our first location. Oh. Downtown at the circle. So we're gonna pass it. Right. Look at all the way up there. Yep. Now they're doing construction on it. Oh, they are? Yeah. Okay. All right. Randy, so we need to get gas because we're almost empty on gas. We're right? almost out of gas? We're almost out of gas. So I fly, you buy. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> that sounds great. So I need your credit card. Oh, all right, let me get it to you. There we go. We're getting on the interstate now. Maybe. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Oh, right wow. Interstate. I'm glad we put on our seatbelt. I wish we could play some music. I can sing. We're going to Lucas Oil. We're going to go see the coal spine. Maybe. 
I don't think we're going to do that. Though. I don't think the Colts play today, do they? Nope. But I do know what we're going to be doing. You do? I think. You sure? Yeah, I think. All right. Hey, there's JW Marriott. Oh, yeah, there you go. I know where we are. There's Victory Field. You are arriving at Victory Field. Uh oh. Thank you. Are we getting out? Yes, we're here at Victory Field. Are we going to play baseball? Mm, maybe. Good, maybe. I want to bet cleanup, okay? Thank you. Oh, Victory Field, we're here. Victory Field. Yes. Oh. Alrighty. Can I follow you, Ezra? Let's walk together. All right, let's go. Let's walk together and. How you doing, Bob? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. You're always there. Oh, I know. Hey, you know how me you here. Good. How you doing? Good so. to see you. You teased this to me a while back that the yeah. end of the road was look near for that, you. Look at that, Ezra. You got a jersey. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at Randy this here. Well. Oh, Randy Think th it's big enough for me? I think it is, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. 38. That is great. Hmm. <laughs> thank you. I say thank you. Should Let's we put it, it on? Oh. Turn it, turn it, turn is that 38 for 38 years? 38 there for 38 you go. years. All right. So, hey, Randy, we're going to have lunch here at Victory Field. Oh, we're going to eat lunch and here? So, yes. Yeah, man. Uh, we're gonna five, just, man. We're just going to take some seats here in the shade because we don't want to get too hot. Okay. Um, but, yeah, we're going to just But take... Victory Field is beautiful. Yes. It's gorgeous. And Look at that. right now they're watering it. They so are. if we were up, if we were going to get to play today, we'd probably get wet. Okay. We'll, we'll stay up here. That way the sprinklers won't get us. Uh-huh. So we'll just sit right here. So. What a beautiful day, Ezra. This yes. is a great day for a baseball game. Uh -huh. Think the Indians will win? Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, they're fun to watch. We can see a beautiful, great view. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's... Oh, Randy, I'm getting hungry. You're hungry, Ezra, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. We, we made it to Victory Field. And in the, in the limo, you did say you were hungry. I'm getting a little hangry too. So you want me to go get some snacks for us? Yeah, I'd love to go. All right, you just stay here and I'll go get okay. them. All right, All I'll right. be right back. All right, don't go away. All right. Hey, my man Ezra, look at us here. I got us some popcorn. This is going to be great. Got some popcorn for you. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Nah. You don't want popcorn? Mm -mm. You want something else? Yes. Hang on, I'll be back. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right, Ezra. Yeah. The line was kind of long up there today, but I got us some uh, Cracker Jacks. You don't like popcorn, but I think you like the Cracker Jacks. Mm, pretty... No. You don't want the Cracker Jacks? Mm -mm. You want something else? Yeah. Here, I can, I, I'll go get it. Hang on. Uh, Ezra, I'm back. I think you'll like these here. These are delicious at the baseball game. You ever hear of sunflower seeds? They're wonderful. Um, no. You don't like sunflower seeds? No. You want something else? Wait, are those actually sunflower seeds? Yeah, I think yes! so. Yes, give me them. <laughs> I love them. Hey, we found something here, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, how about I go get something now? You've done a lot of walking. Well, well. I have. I'm getting kind of tired, you know, but I've enjoyed the snacks. So go ahead and give me something. Yeah. Right. I'll take it. That's great. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Whew. All right. Hey, Randy. Yeah, yeah, Ezra. What's I got up? some M&Ms. Oh, man, are they peanuts or plain? Um, peanuts. Oh, my favorite. I appreciate this here. Yes. Want me to share it with you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> All right, I can do that for you here, so there you go. Hey, oh. Randy. Yeah, I got it. I found some other good stuff. Oh, more? Some oh, my. Low-cal root beer. R low root and beer. And hot dogs. Hot dogs? No, you got ketchup on them. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get ketchup. Okay. We'll All put right. on our own ketchup. Mm, I love root beer. This is delicious. So. And thanks, Ezra. We have cup holders. I'll put that right there. All, in right. All right. So, Randy. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. thought we could talk about your career. Okay. So, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay. What's one thing you'd like to be known for in your legacy? 
Well, you know what? That's a great question, Ezra. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I, I've been at Channel 8 for 39 years. Yeah. Do you know how many times I overslept in getting into work early in the morning? No. Zero. I have never overslept in 39 wow. years, so I think that that's something I'm kind of proud of there, so. Uh -huh. um, next question. What fears did you have 38 years ago that you, that you realize now you shouldn't have? Boy, that's a that's a that's a good question too. You know, I I think I was a young guy back then, 38 years ago, and our family was just coming along, and uh, I really didn't know if I wanted to get up early in the morning because I'm a night person, and uh, I thought I'll just give it a shot and see how it goes. But you know, I've been doing it for 38 years, so I uh, I probably worried a little bit too much about not getting enough sleep, but it, everything turned out okay. Okay, um, what do you wish you would have let go? You know, I, I, during my 38, 39 years, I, I've always in, enjoyed it, doing whatever I've done. I don't really regret too much. Um, I did radio on the side, you know, and the station's been great to let me do that. So I, I really don't have any regrets over the last 8, 38, 39 years. Wow. I've been very blessed. Wow. Um, what are your top three accomplishments in your career of life? Of life? <laughs> My, my accomplishments, I think, are, uh, I, I guess, I'm, I'm proud of, I, I try to give uh, eight hours a day work, you know, and plus and do the best I can. You know, I, so, somebody used to say, you, you know, just obey God and leave the consequences to Him. So I always worked very hard uh, in my career. I've always been a people person. I've always enjoyed going out and speaking to groups like that. And I've really enjoyed uh, being a husband and a father, too. Mm -hmm. so those are three things. Um, you can have this. I can have this one. Oh, my favorite I color. Mmm, whoa. Yum, yum. What is on your bucket list? Great question, too. Oh, my bucket list. Not a whole lot. Um, I, I always thought it'd be kind of cool for our whole fam family to go out to Estes Park, Colorado. You ever been out there? Mm -mm. But And we did do that during this past summer. And I always thought if, if we can afford to do it, is to take a cruise together, maybe a simple cruise. Ah. Would you like to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a, that's probably the uh, the main thing on the bucket list. I don't know if we'll ever do it or not. It's hard to get the whole family together, but uh, I'd like to do it. And do traveling. My wife and I, we enjoy traveling. Mm -hmm. cool. Can I take a swig of root beer? Yes. All right, go ahead. Um, one second, let me get a sip just because right. you said mm -hmm. it. Randy, so we got the hot dogs. So yeah. would you like a little bite before we go into it? Yeah, I think so. Next I, set of questions. I am getting kind of hungry. Uh, These questions, Ezra, they're wearing me out. Woo. They're making me hungry, too. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to get a bite of hot dog. Yeah. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Mmm. 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 Mm. Delicious. I have to say with you, delicious. Yeah, these are good. I don't think they're going to buy it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like when we're on Lifestyle Live and you're going like, and you're eating, and then you're like, we'll see you tomorrow. With food in our mouth and yeah. everything, yeah. Mm hmm. We've been embarrassed before, so. This is, these are good hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. I can't. All right. All right. What habits have you developed over the years that most helpful? You know, I've I've uh, I've had my health issues, but one habit is that I work out all the time. Mm. And I always, you know, uh, I usually go to the gym three times a week. The days I don't go to the gym, you know, I will go walking in the neighborhood or bike riding now. So I oh. think that over the years, discipline is a key thing for me. Ah. You know, I have always said that those who are the most disciplined in life can really do better than others mm -hmm. here. So I try to discipline myself. I know I eat a lot of donuts and I eat a lot of junk food, but it's controlled junk yeah. food eating. It really is. So. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. like I said, it's controlled junk food eating. And then what habits have you developed over the years that are most not helpful? Well. I think in my younger days, I didn't get enough sleep. Sometimes I'd stay up way too late, you know? And, um, uh, you know, just when you're a young family guy, I think a lot of times you just, you know, worry about 
the family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Son, but as you get older, you realize why do you why do you worry? You know, God's in control; He'll take care of it. So mm -hmm. you just do the best you can. So, name at least one supportive person in your life, and describe how they've been supportive. Well, I could name a whole bunch. Um, David Barris. He used to be our anchor man, but he's been retired now five or six years. Dave has always been great. You know, he's been like a brother to me, always been very supportive of me. And uh, so he's been a, a, a positive influence in my life for the most part. And um, uh, I, I, there's, there's a preacher, he, he just died not long ago, Charles Stanley. I've always enjoyed his messages, you know, and it applies mm -hmm. it to your life, biblical truth. So that's been very helpful as well. Yes. Ooh, here's a hard one. Uh -oh. What's the one most important risk you took and why did you take it? A one important risk that I took. I um, uh, <laughs> I don't think we were getting to the financial stuff or anything like that. There's a lot of questions there. I wonder why I did what I did. But um, I, think, I think it was a big risk when I took the job at Channel 8 on our morning daybreak show because uh, it was no one else had a morning show on then. The rumor was that nobody's going to watch the morning news and it'd be canceled in the year. I'll we'll have to go find another job. So that was a risk. But um, here we are 40 years later and the show's still going on. So I'm mm. glad I did it. I'm oh, a blessed guy. Yes. God has blessed us with a bunch of gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been very blessed. So. When you named, when, were you named after a family member or does your name have a special meaning? Um, no, not really. I think my name, my uh, my dad, when he was in the the, uh, the military, I think he was in the uh, the, the um, army, and he had a, a friend back in the, the army whose name was Randy. So I think that's where I got my name from my father's friend. Ah. Uh -huh. so other than that, it's not you know nothing else in the family. Okay. Right. Um, what was the most important lesson? your parents taught you? Well, my dad was a factory worker, and you know, he would say, son, you get up and you get to work on time. I'm a, I'm a stickler for time. You gotta get to work on time. Yeah. You give your employee, you know, eight hours a day of hard work, and you're always thankful for that paycheck. Mm -hmm. And that's what my, my father would teach me. And I think another thing too is you'd, you'd, you'd treat others the way you want them to treat you. Yes. So, and I, I never forgot that, I, I try. I'm not always the best, but I try to treat <coughs> Yes. Well. Very important. All right. What is something that you'd like to learn still? Something I like to learn. You know, my wife and I, we are so different. She's an introvert and I'm an extrovert. You know mm -hmm. what that is? I know. An extrovert is somebody who always likes to be around people. Introvert is somebody who likes to be alone. And um, uh, we, went, uh, we went to hear a big band uh, music the other, <laughs> other night. And uh, I, I think... <laughs> If, if I could learn to dance with her, she would really enjoy that. But I, I don't know how to dance too well. So, okay. Yeah, so that, but we're really different, my wife and I. Blue, three, two, I like one. Blue, I like mm -mm. mm -mm. There you go. Where were you on 9-11? I was at Channel 8. During, working in Channel 8, 9-11. Uh, everybody knows where they are, where, what they're doing. And then I remember when the, uh, uh, the networks came on to interrupt programming to announce the plane that had flown into the, uh, the building. And then as we were there watching, the second plane flew into the, the building, and I remember watching it go in. And I was there with another weather person who's not at our station anymore. And they said that, oh, I think something must be wrong with the controls. And I thought, there's nothing wrong with the controls. You never take a plane and go straight into a building like that. So. Of course, we didn't know exactly what was going on back then, but I, I was at Channel 8 that day on 9-11. Okay. What's, your, what's the best advice you've ever received? You know, I, I think the best advice, again, is, you know, I, I tied in with my, my faith, and I, I always say you obey God and leave the consequences up to Him. Mm -hmm. You know, He says He'll guide you and He'll direct you, and that's how I live my life, trying to obey him and treat others mm -hmm. like I want to be treated. Yes. And to leave the outcome up to him. Mm -hmm. Great word. Very good. Well, it's nice just to have lunch. You want some popcorn? After we got to ask questions with Randy, we 
We got to go out on the field. Shane led us. Hardy, what advice about life would you give your grandchildren? Well, I'm, I, I believe in hard work. Um, Ezra, I really do. I, I, I always tell you know, kids when I go to school to go after your passion in life. Everybody's yeah. got a passion. Whenever you choose something in life, but you know, go after something mm -hmm. you really enjoy. Yeah. Not just to make a lot of money, but because you enjoy doing it. Yeah. So. Oop. All right. And the ball has <laughs> fallen. Lost the ball. Oh, and it's a big <laughs> jump. Uh, it is. Big, big step down, isn't it? Big step down. So. Uh, don't right. hurt yourself. Okay. So, what's your speed run? What's your favorite starting now? Board game. Uh, Monopoly. Uh, candy. Candy. Oh, anything chocolate. Anything, Chuck. Reese's peanut butter cup. What is your favorite meal? Oh, I love steak and potatoes. Ooh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Meat tree. What's your favorite tree? Favorite tree? Yes. Um, maple. I would say, yeah, I, I like the maple trees. I really okay. do. Not a breadberry. Vegetable. I, let's see. I, how about carrots? Okay. Sport. Sport? I like um, basketball. Ah. But I like football too. Mm hmm. And baseball. I movie? Like Favorite movie? Back to the Future. You ever hear of that one? No. No. How about Old Yeller? Ever hear of Old Yeller? No. no. Okay, that's way better. Um, fruit. Favorite fruit? I like apples. Flower? Flowers. Um, I would take Sunflower. tulips. 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 I like tulips. All right. D and dessert. Dessert, yeah. How about ice cream? How about a hot fudge sundae? How about M&M's? Ooh, yum. Ooh, is that pretty good? Yeah. All right. All right, that's the speed round. The speed round. I like the speed round there, so. All yeah. right. Hey, better, 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 hey, better. There it is. There it is. There it is. Ezra, you did it, man. You. you got him. Got Give me a curveball, Ezra. Give me a curveball. Got a curveball there. Whoa. <laughs> Ezra. So, uh. Hey, better. 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 Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Throw me your knuckleball. <laughs> you know what a knuckleball is? Uh, right. Hey, hit it. Uh oh. You got a lefty. Lefty versus lefty. Okay. Hey, Randy, it's your turn. Let me throw it. All right. Ready, Ezra? Yep. Here you go. I'm giving, giving my curveball here. There it is. Oh, look Bubble. at that. Curveball. Oh, oh, there no. we go. There we go, Ezra. Uh-oh. You got to get him. Get him, Ezra. No. Go. Oh, you got him. You got him. Let's go. All right, buddy. All right. Hey, the well, that, Indians won a game tonight, man. Give me five. That was so fun. Give me five, man. Yeah. We said thanks to Shane. Shane was super nice. Oh, Shane and the Indianapolis Indians are awesome. He was great. The Indians won. You know, we love that. So. And I got this little, oop. Yep. And I got this little prize act from the oh, Cracker Jacks. Is okay there? Okay. All right. Well, Randy, now we're heading back. We are. We are heading back. Well, that was fun. Ezra. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm wore out. I <laughs> Me too. I'm going to get my grandfather nap when I get home, so. We're here at the Wish TV station. How Channel was it? Channel 8. How We're was back. it? It was great. Alrighty, well, Randy, this is your stop. It is. Well, and my stop. I'm going to run the station just for a minute. Thank you so much. No problem. Did you get to play baseball? <laughs> awesome. Hello. Little. Oh, yes, thank you. Ezra, that was great, man. Mm. 
I'm too tired. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thank you, Ezra. I enjoyed myself as always. Yes. Eating hot dogs with you, mm -hmm. you know, popcorn yeah. and everything is wonderful. Mm -hmm. so. Well, we had a great time. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. And it's been so fun to get to talk with Randy Ellis about his retirement. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. There we go, Ezra. Uh oh, you gotta get him. Get him out go. Oh, you got him. You got him. If you want a special shout out or a special video from me, just go to cameo.com and search Ezra speaking. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.